Hey! Hi. How you doing? This is Ryan, and welcome back to the Gamertron Show. So I find myself in a bit of a predicament. I recently played and completed the video game Overside. Released on July 27th, 2020, developed by Lightbulb Crew, and published by Focus Entertainment. I'm not exaggerating when I say this is one of the greatest video games of all time, one of the best video games I've ever played in my lifetime. It's an underrated masterpiece and an underrated classic. I beg of you to believe me. I want to show you exactly why. I want to share with you the most powerful moments in Other Side. I want to show you the set pieces, the incredible boss battles, and some of the most haunting environments. I want to tell you all about, in excruciating detail, just how brilliant the story and lore and characters of Otherside are. I want to play examples so you can listen to just how extraordinary the soundtrack is. I want to do all of these things and so much more, but I can't. In good conscience, I can't. Because? I do not want to be personally responsible for tarnishing your first time experience with Otherside if you choose to play it, which you should. You see, I went into Otherside mostly blind. My only context beforehand was watching a single trailer. And I am so happy and so grateful I went into Other Side in that context. Now, everyone is different. Perhaps you don't care about spoilers and you're someone that needs a lot more information before you commit on buying and playing a video game, which is totally fair. So if you need to look up all the information about the game available online, then you do you. You do what you have to do to end up playing Other Side in the end. I just want as many people as possible to buy the game, play the game, support the developers, hopefully get a sequel or expansion or just more other side content in the future somehow. This story, this world, this franchise, this IP has so much potential, I would hate to see it isolated to this single product. However, if that does end up being the case, well, at least we have other side, this absolutely stunning piece of art. So, if you know me, if you understand me, if you trust me, then I hope you'll take my recommendation and buy and play Otherside as blind as possible. It's how I experienced Otherside. I'm immensely pleased that I experienced it that way, and I'm hoping the same powerful emotions and reactions I had to Otherside will be similar with you if you choose to engage the game that way. Whew, okay, all right. Now, with all that being said, what can I tell you about Otherside that will not entirely spoil or tarnish the experience if you decide to jump into the game based on this video? What aspects of the game can I share that aren't massive spoilers? Well, Otherside is an indie, turn-based tactics and strategy, roguelike, single-player video game. Many online have described the game as Darkest Dungeon meets XCOM, and that's a pretty fair comparison. Now, any of you who know anything about me know that I don't really like turn-based strategy games, and I'm not the biggest fan of XCOM, but I do love Darkest Dungeon, and Otherside scratches a very similar itch like that game does. Constant meaningful decisions of risk versus reward, learning from failure and coming back stronger and more well prepared, while having to adapt to unexpected challenges on the fly. Otherside can certainly be difficult at times, but not impenetrable by any means. Keep in mind, this is coming from someone who plays 90% of his video games on easy difficulty. So as someone who generally doesn't find hard difficulties fun or rewarding, I found Otherside's inherent challenge to be enticing, engaging, and not discouraging in any way, shape, or form. If anything, it only compelled me to keep playing more. Every defeat, every failed run, was a learning experience. I'd learn more about the enemies and bosses, their attacks, their abilities, their actions and reactions. I would develop strategies and counters, and the result was an immensely satisfying experience when I was able to outsmart and outplay overwhelming odds. Again, I, for the most part, don't like turn-based tactics, turn-based strategy games, or difficult games, but other side, Everything about it clicked for me. Even though Otherside isn't in my preferred genre, not in the wheelhouse of games I generally play, its design is so meticulous. The visuals and audio complementing the gameplay so well that I could not put this game down. And even though when I had to stop playing and take breaks and do other things, 
I just wanted to keep playing other side. I wanted to uncover and understand more of the story and world. I wanted to get to the next boss and see what crazy shit the game would throw at me next. I wanted to keep leveling up my daughters and see what new crazy powerful abilities they could unlock and no, I'm not providing more context for that. You command an army of daughters, the controllable unit in this game, and that's all you're getting from me. Go read the store pages or watch reviews or, you know, just buy and play the game if you want to learn more. The point I'm getting at with all of this is that even though Otherside is technically, by all means, a game that wouldn't be up my alley, a game I wouldn't enjoy with the kind of genre and type of game this is, Otherside is just so well made that it surpasses my biases. It's just such a good game that I can't help but love it and love to play it. It's why I recommend this game to literally everyone, who is of age of course, because I honestly believe even if you don't like turn-based strategy games, turn-based tactics games, or roguelikes, I honestly believe Otherside is just so good that you will still enjoy it. I am being deftly serious, however, about what I said a second ago. I do recommend this game to just about everyone who is of age, because Oversight is dark. This game gets really dark. There are some heavy, heavy themes in this game. And some of the art and imagery and just aesthetics of the game overall can be, ooh, very gruesome. The game is quite obviously very horror inspired, which is yet another reason I love the game so much. Now, if you'll allow me a tangent for but a moment, it's absolutely criminal, disgusting even, how underrated Otherside is. Yes, when the game initially released in 2020, it received critical acclaim. It's easy to see, you just have to look at the store page, look at all those high scores. Yet, I honestly believe that Other Side deserves more. It deserves better. It didn't get a single nomination or win at the Game Awards in 2020. With the exception of Indie Mouse, none of the big gaming content creators on YouTube or Twitch have touched Other Side. And you just don't see Other Side being brought up by the gaming community in the online online discourse. It's not being heralded as one of the greatest video games of all time, as one of the best indie games of all time, one of the best turn-based tactics games of all time, and, and, yeah, you know what? It's infuriating. What the hell? We'll praise games like Hades and Darkest Dungeon, indie darlings that absolutely deserve the praise and success, but we're just gonna leave other side out to dry when it's just as good as those games? Nah, nah, I'm not gonna have it. I will do everything in my power to make sure everyone knows about Otherside, everybody plays Otherside, and that Otherside gets the recognition it deserves, goddammit. Otherside absolutely deserves to be up there with the pantheon of indie darlings. So please, one and all, I beseech you, give Otherside a chance, give it a shot, check it out, look into it. If it interests you even in the slightest, consider making a purchase, playing the game, supporting the developers, as we should be supporting and rewarding video games like Otherside, that are passion projects, that are creative, that are genuinely trying to do something new and experimental. And, and, damn it, there's so much more I want to tell you about Otherside. There's so much more I want to share, but I do not want to spoil this game for you. At least, not in this particular video. If I get enough feedback, enough people demanding me to make, I don't know, like a one hour long essay critique on Other Side, I will absolutely fucking do it. If you guys give me an excuse to play more Other Side, I will absolutely hop on it. But for now, I will leave you with this. I truly, honestly love Other Side. I love this video game and I would argue it is one of the greatest video games of all time, one of the greatest video games ever made, and I recommend it to everyone of age, of course. It is an underrated masterpiece and I hope I have done enough to convince you to go check it out for yourself. Play Other Side, please. Anyways, that's been a video. Thank you for watching. If you like the video in any way, shape, or form, please hit the like button, leave a comment sharing your thoughts, feelings, and opinions in the comment section down below. If you want to help out and support this video, then please share it on social media. Share it on Twitter, Facebook, and Reddit. If you want to help out and support me directly, please consider making a YouTube super thanks donation or donating via my link to my buy me a coffee page in the description down below. Anyways, once again, that's been a video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later.